wow, they are everywhere, aren't they? Previously with Peyton. And he looked like oh, he yeah, look bashes look black women on YouTube. I really shouldn't have to block him. I really should go ahead and stand firm in how I feel. And whenever he, whenever he, yeah, whenever he. I got my car back. She don't 100% that detail. Her so nice. Her seat's all shiny. Hey, girl. I'm pregnant. What you want? That, that it's all there and that if all right make sure you're all caught up on the previous vlogs and let's jump into this solo travel vlog and see where we're going all right guys pisces season is here and you know what that means girl we got to get this body together so we are back in the gym i just rearranged my gym i got some new pieces and of course we have to stay hydrated because i get a little lethargic and nauseous when i go in in a gym so guess what we got Girl, they didn't send me one, but they sent me two of the sea berry flavor. Thank you so much, Liquid IV, for sponsoring today's video. They sent over the hydration multiplier. You guys know this was literally one of the most popular flavors, and it's back permanent. My absolute fave, okay? And they sent me this big old bag. Like, let me tell you something. I am about to be getting it in. Look at this. All you do, rip it open, okay? Get your water bottle. They sent me over a new one, so now I have two. And I'm excited about it. This one's so cute. You pour it in, okay? Add your water. And then you just shake it up, okay? This thermal water bottle will keep it cool for over 24 hours so you don't have to worry about when you go to the gym it getting warm it's gonna stay cool in this so let's give it a try oh that's so good that is so freaking good oh Now you know the hydration multiplier is packed with five nutritional vitamins. That's vi vitamin B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. And as well as that, it is going to hydrate you two times faster than water. So these are perfect on the go, after workouts, traveling. So I highly recommend you guys try these out. Click my link in the description box below. Use my code Payton for 20% off plus free shipping. And thanks again to Liquid IV for sponsoring yet another video. Drink up. We are getting ready to head out. I'm here at the airport. It is early. That's <gasps> nasty. She got this so bad. And I give her about four. On stage, rocking out the crazy Coco Fella 1980s. Come list till I drop lazy. None of that energy. Something up. Hey, I'm in the mood to fuck something up. 
guys we are here in curacao um i just picked up my rental that gave me a volkswagen um it's a nice little i was gonna get a truck but i don't plan on being in the car a lot it's just where i'm staying and the resort that i'm staying at it's pretty far and um i was reading reviews of like the other people that got this airbnb they was just saying how like um the grocery store is like 20 minutes away and like everything is far and you would pay a lot for taxis so i decided to go ahead and rent a car and my airbnb host literally just texted me you might want to go to the grocery store before you come to the airbnb my thing is i got a, a massage at five and i want to be on time it's 3 30 now so i think i'll be okay so I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and stop at the grocery store to pick up a few things um, that I can like snack on and stuff. Come on, skin. Do y'all see this skin? Try to listen. Y'all just, girl. Look, we're not for the start. The, we're not for the start the video off like this. Yes, we is. We're gonna stop at the grocery store and pick up a few things, and then, and plus I need a loofah because I I definitely forgot a loofah. Um, and then we're gonna head over to the air uh, the Airbnb and unpack and shower and get ready for my massage so yeah let's go intoxicated you guys so it's actually a lot of like american food choices in here I'm extremely surprised about that. Oh, bugles. Wait, that's a big ass box of bugles. bag of bugles. I don't need that big all bag. You ain't got like the small kind. Y'all, I love me some bugles, but I don't want a big old bag. We gotta hurry up. I need to be in here lollygagging. This bag so heavy. Damn. I should have listened to my first man and kept bagging my own bags. He made that damn bag so heavy. And they don't have bags just sitting out like we do. So you have to ask, tell them how many bags you want. So if you don't tell them the, the right amount of bags, they're going to try to put everything in the amount of bags you ask for. I asked for two bags, but I was going to bag myself because I used to work at Cecil's when I was in high school and they had a how to bag training. So I know how to bag. Okay, I'm here at the resort in my Airbnb. I'm just going to go ahead and um, unload these groceries really quick. And it's 456, so I got to go ahead and head down to the spa. Because my appointment is at five. so freaking nice and guess what <clears throat> it's like i'm not gonna say black black on but like like the salon is it, black stylist it's like black employees so if i get my hair wet i can come here and get my hair done because i was worried about that because i ain't getting no braids i ain't get my hair braided but you know it's just like a flat iron so i was like oh shit i plan on doing like water activities y'all know anytime i go on vacation child i'm gonna get in the water and can't swim so um and i'm like really getting in the water this time like really really getting in the water this time because i got some excursions planned so i was like dang who gonna do my hair because i ain't doing it but um yeah let me take this wig off and shower real quick because this shower this changing room is really really nice and um i didn't have time to shower while I was at the place, um, at the Airbnb, so I'm gonna shower and, um, like, freshen up, so I'll be right back. Thank you. 
33 that you're choosing? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to choose the aromas that go with them. Um, I would like you to smoke each one of them, and then you're going to tell me your preference in the one that you like the most and the one that you least like. Okay. All right. Um, in order to do this, I would like you to close your eyes because you're going to use your intuition okay. to choose the aromas. I'm going to just um, explain the definition that's on the card. And you're gonna tell me how you feel accordingly. Okay. okay. Uh, chakra one is the center where we ground ourselves and take care of our basic needs. When the root chakra is balanced, one feels good energy, a feeling of security, and a healthy body awareness. When the chakra is out of balance, one feels um, like a lagger feeling, resistance to change, and the need to slow down. Would you say this is in balance or out of balance for you? Balance. Balance for you. We're moving on to the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. It's the center of connecting to something greater than oneself and expressing wisdom and enlightenment. When this chakra is balanced, one feels strong, um, one feels strong, unclouded, and joy for life. When it is out of balance, one feels loss of self, spiritual abandonment and lack of connection to the universe or God. Would you say this is imbalance or out of balance for you? Unbalanced. Mm -hmm. Imbalanced. Unbalanced. Unbalanced. No. In balance. Balance. Mm -hmm. Look at Norris. Sometimes I don't feel as Norris as I should be. I do. As far as like my body, vitamins. You, you did choose it and you push it back. I did. All right. And that was also, no, that wasn't the scent you picked up. So that was the one that you pull forward first mm -hmm. and then you put it back mm -hmm. and then you went to the grounded and then you went to your crown. But the one that you actually chose, I think it was the intention. intention. Mm -hmm. Would you like to smell it? Mm -hmm. it smells my ass? Yes. Okay. Because like this you can get a better scent of what it is more than with your eyes open. Yes, calm, relax, take a nice deep breath. So chakra 2 is the center of vitality and sensation where we move beyond our basic need um, into relationships with others. When this pleasure chakra is balanced, one, feel, one has stable, stable energy, alertness, unblocked emotion, and is connected to all five senses. When the chakra is out of balance, one feels repressed, feels disconnected from the senses. Would you say this is in balance or out of balance for you? don't have like great personal relationships with a lot of people. I cut people off fast. Is it because of your displeased with them or it's just displeased. something you do? Displeased. Displeased with mm -hmm. them. Do you take it personal? I take a lot of things personal. So you're I'm very sensitive. Okay, so here's the thing. You said that you're stable. Um, you don't feel anything because you did like all of them like you did state it but you said okay this one has this particular cinnamon taste like a bit of spice and you're not really feeling it how would you say that you're stable because this deals with your lifestyle your work habit your mm -hmm. foundation I mean how you live your life how you receive your money how you take care of yourself so would you say that you do this well mm -hmm. are you having any kind of uh, situation with your finances or your way of living that you feel is a little bit mm, so so right now no mm -mm. I'm extremely productive I mean I can be a procrastinator but that's something that I'm working on mm -hmm. um, by becoming more deadline driven and planning out my weeks and my days and things like that but financially lifestyle I'm balanced You're and set. I'm set only thing my love life is terrible so I don't know what that may be nourished yeah. Yeah, because that deals with your emotion. That that's the emotional part of you, and um, that deals with how you feel with people. 
and you said earlier that you're easy to cut off people and you also mentioned a while ago that your love life is a little bit on balance but that can be due to many things that either you're having psychologically that well most time that's the thing psychological blocks or something that happened over the years or throughout your life that caused you to be like mm, i'm not really feeling you know comfortably in that emotional area to trust people because they do crap with it exactly yes okay that is funny that i pulled that one forward and then i pushed it back that is yeah. so funny i noticed it and i was going to tell you to go with your intuition but then i said no i must allow you because it's you this is all about you mm -hmm. i'm just um guiding you through the process and to help you balance that which is out of balance for you now You scared of me and go and get on up out of here. Like, do your thing. Get on up out of here. Like, I'm not going to mess with you. Bro. I mean, why, why did you even come in here? Oh, God. I need to be getting ready for dinner, and I'm sitting here fighting for my life. And then here go this damn praying man is. What do praying man is do when you try to get rid of them? Down, down, jumping on do it. Down, down. Let me Google it. Damn. It's always some. So it looks like I'm going to have to show y'all the room tour in the morning when it's bright and beautiful. So let me go ahead and bring my bags up and get ready. Cause I don't have much time. See you in a minute. All right, so this is the look for tonight. I'm wearing, um, this set is from one of the PayPal's. I think it's Holt Apparels or something like that. I'll show it to y'all when I get back cause I'm actually rushing. Um, my Jimmy Choo shoes, um, Fendi bag, usual um, jewelry. And because I'm rushing, I'm not wearing any makeup. I just realized I booked a spot that has absolutely no mirror. Like, it's no mirror at all. So, all I have on is um, lashes. I don't even have on no lip gloss because it's really windy outside. And I know it's going to blow all in my, like, face. And um, when I got the massage, she gave me a head massage. But, like, she had a lot of oil on her hands. I was like, girl, you want me to take the wig off? She was like, you can. I was like, yeah, because... Yeah, now this hair is really, really oily, so we'll probably go swimming and all of it tomorrow because I'm going to have to wash this hair anyway, but yeah, let's go because we're rushing. I'm leaving my phone. Ugh. By the way, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. All right, we are here at Character, and I'm having a pina colada. This is with the um, Curta style living. <laughs> That's really good. I go with my outfit. So this is on the beach, but you, since it's so dark, you can't see the water, but we're right here on the beach. It's real nice. <laughs> Person here. The only one. So 
so Cameron got her Valentine's Day gift. She got it on time today because she was like, Mom, it's not here. And I'm like, it's coming, Cameron. It's, it's going to be there. Don't worry. So she just got it and she been texting me on her iPad and her, her phone at the same time. Thank you, Mom. Happy Valentine's Day, Mom. <laughs> This was recommended by my uh, waitress. She said this is her favorite. I don't know what it is. It's good Why is this man staring at me? Ah! He's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it went, but I flicked it over there where them people that I hope it ain't over there like I don't know I'm more. I ain't got nothing to do with it. This cheese is a little different. This is a raspberry cheesecake. This cheese tastes a little different. Well, when I get home, I can't stand up straight. We don't know why. No one ain't supposed to be eating no dairy, no cheese, no nothing. My body gave up on it a long, long time ago. It's giving like, it's giving they put a pinch of sour cream in it. I don't know. All right, honey. I'm trying to stay cons consistent, so taking my taking my vis vis school and my Nutrafol. So they didn't have watermelon simply, but they do got simply here. They do got simply here, but they didn't have watermelon simply. So I got Minimate watermelon from the supermarket. I don't know where that salamander is. All I know is I'm not killing no more God's creatures. So you don't bother me, I won't bother you. Hello. As a matter of fact, why are you in here? If you see any ants, spiders, crickets, I'm gonna need you to have my back. I'm trying to decide if I wanna edit the video tonight or wait till tomorrow and edit it tomorrow night. Y'all, why I got in my rental car? Can it one start? I ain't even panicked. I'm in the car like, what the hell? Kept turning it off, kept turning it on. It would not move, child. It would not turn on. It would like, it wasn't even going for her. So I'm like, okay, relax, breathe, and then it turned on. I don't know why it did that, But all I know is that it better not do it no more, especially in this little private resort. Cause in this cul-de-sac, first of all, it's given very much um, back road in the country. You know what I'm saying? You ever lived in the country or if you, uh, if you from Memphis, like when you going to Mississippi, like if you going like to Senatobia or Combo, Mississippi, them back roads where it ain't no lights, it ain't no street lights, that's what this gives. Like, you got to have some high beams on 
driving down the street. So I don't see myself being out real late while I'm here. Cause one, it's not like the easiest to find this house. Like I literally have to count. I have to remember like landmarks, like, oh, okay, that pink mailbox right there. That's, that's how I know if, if I pass that pink mailbox, that's how I know I went too far. Or I look at the other addresses because the, um, the, the home that I'm in, the address isn't until you actually turn on the street. So you can't even see the address. Like you can see other people houses in their address, but you can't see this address. So you kind of really have to look for the house and have like little landmarks that you remember because when I was driving back from the restaurant, I felt like I had drove too far. So in the dark, like it kind of played with you. But in the daytime, y'all, okay, what till y'all see it in the morning? I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm really playing with my watch time right now. <laughs> what till y'all see it in the morning? Y'all gonna be like, oh, it's gorgeous. And I found it on Airbnb. Airbnb be having a lot of hidden gems. You just gotta. I, I don't even know how to like for Nako Airbnb, honestly, like, cause I decided to come here earlier this month. Like all my trips be kind of like, I won't say last minute, but I don't plan them out. Um, I just, I just really wanted to go somewhere that I hadn't been and I don't hear a lot of people talk about. So when I was like Googling places to go, this, um, this this YouTube channel popped up and it's like a travel YouTube channel and they were specifically talking about great places to go, uh, best kept secrets, uh, fr friendly budgets or something like that. And while I was like, I wasn't really like focused on budget, I wanted to go somewhere that had a lot to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's friendly to tourists and you don't have to be vaccinated. That's kind of hard to find, honestly, like, cause I've been trying to go, where, where is it that I'm trying to go, but they want you to be vaccinated. I want to say seashells. If it's not seashells, it might be Bali. It's somewhere that I want, really, really want to go, but they still require you to have a vaccine. So trying to find exotic places and new places to go that don't require a vaccine is hard. Plus on top of that, I like to do excursions. I like to do things that I haven't done before. Now, given I might throw in jet skis because I just love riding jet skis or ATVs because every jungle is different. So no matter if you do watch a vlog of mine and you see that I've done like ATVs damn near every time I go somewhere, every jungle is different. Like when I when I rode the ATVs in Tulum, it was different. It was I was like super dusty and dirty afterwards. Right when I rode the ATVs in Turkey, it was different. Every time I do ATVs, it's a different experience. And like, that's why I do it because you get to see places, different places on earth in, in the world and different countries, jungles and stuff like that and experience that. So no matter how many times you travel and you do certain excursions, do it do it every time you go somewhere because every place is different it, the customer service is different the experience is different the atmosphere is different um all of that so yeah nine times out of ten i'm definitely gonna do atvs they have that here but they have like a lot of water activities that i don't typically see anywhere else when i when i travel so i want to i want to try some new things and <sighs> we getting this hair wet we getting this hair wet I wish I wish they had an activity that could teach me how to swim. Cause she sure don't know. But look, I got these fudge striped oatmeal cookies from the supermarket. I'll tell y'all a little secret about me. I love me some oatmeal cookies. And don't add chocolate to them. Say, stop playing with me. You know what is coming like a Girl Scout cookie Samoa. Oh, baby, I used to love them damn Samoa cookies. All right, mom. I'm smuggling these in the suitcase because I know I ain't gonna finish them all while I'm here. These are coming home with me. Yes, you are. I can't leave them out because 
I'm already seeing the ants. I'm gonna have to put these in the refrigerator. I know one damn thing. I cannot take no ants home with me. I know that much. Hey, Mama, can you make me a cup? Good morning, gorgeous. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I want to say good morning, gorgeous. I'm so proud of me. Baby, I be pushing through, honey. I be pushing through. I just got to I just got to got to go and get myself flowers right now. I push through. Cuz y'all don't know off camera, it's some things that I don't share and I eventually will share. But woo, baby, I got some demons in my life be trying to tear me down. Do you hear me? I have some demons. Oh, my, my skin is so soft. I have some demons in my life that be trying to tear me down. Ooh. The devil be so busy, but let me tell you something about my God. I will not be moved. Mm-mm-mm. You can't move me, baby. I I'm standing strong, legs locked. Try to push me. I will not fall. Fuck you, man. But anyway, yeah. Good morning. I got this. I got this. This real. I greased my scalp last night. That's why. Plus, uh, Miss Ma'am put a lot of oil in my hair, in my in my wig. She put a lot of oil in it. I ain't even realized it was that much oil on her hand, child. I'm like, wait a minute now, baby. This ain't my real hair. Now you gonna have me out here looking like um. A mess. The way Minnie Mae played me on this watermelon juice, though. Baby, I could have really drank some watermelon juice and it would have tasted better than this. This is sugar water. With a little drop of red food coloring in it. They wrong for that. Oh, they so wrong for that. So let's talk about yesterday's shock or balancing. First of all, Highly recommend. I'm going to definitely have to find a place in Dallas that does those types of massages because it's exactly what I needed. And if y'all remember yesterday when I was picking the car, she basically told me to pick the colors that speak to me. She said, don't focus on the words, focus on the colors. But I was focused on the words because I felt like I really couldn't go off the the colors i was focused on the words so if you notice that there was a point where i had pulled nourish and then i put it back and the reason why i pulled nourish is because i feel like i really um i feel malnourished most days like i feel like malnourished and not just like my 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 diet but malnourished in a lot of things in my body so i had pulled it forward and then um I pushed it back because I felt like I wanted to hone in on being more grounded, um, wisdom, and I forgot the other one that I um, that I pulled forward. I'll remember it in a minute. But anyway, when I went to smell the scents that go for those, and when she flipped over the cards to explain like, um, oh, it was insight. When she flipped over the cards to insight, I'm balanced. When she flipped over the cards to grounded, I'm balanced. And when she flipped over the card to um What was the other one? Wisdom, I'm balanced. So, we end up going back to nourished and that's where I realized I was imbalanced, but nourished wasn't just Norwich wasn't about diet. Norwich was about personal relationships and love. <laughs> On Valentine's Day, child. So when she broke that down, y'all, I had to cut the camera off because when I tell you, I started crying. So as she's doing the massage, like you, you see her like beginning the massage, but then we had to cut the camera off because there are certain techniques that she didn't feel comfortable with uh, me filming. She was comfortable with the whole thing, but there were certain techniques that she didn't want to 
um, have filmed just because of the company. She said she didn't want to get in trouble and I was totally fine with it because that's where I got really transparent and I didn't want to film that anyway because in order for me to actually become balanced in this area, I had to really release and allow her in. It was, it was when I tell you it was such a therapeutic moment, y'all, it was I'm sorry, I don't mean to cry. I don't mean to cry. Oh my God. Um, oh my God, it was one of the best experiences that I have ever had in my life, y'all. And she she basically told me that I need to forgive. She was like, not forget, but she said you need to forgive because you are holding in a lot of trauma. And that's what's keeping you from finding love. And she asked me, um, what is it that I desire? She said, do you desire love? And I said, she said, do you desire love or do you want to experience love? And I said, I'm not going to lie. The things that I have been manifesting are more on um, abundance and a healthy lifestyle and, um, you know, financial um, I would love to experience real love because it's not something that I feel I have ever experienced, but I don't desire it. And she said, in order to experience it, you have to desire it. So there's something that I'm definitely going to work on. Um, I just I always feel like there was just low on my priority list. You know what I'm saying? But if it's something that I want to experience, I need to start manifesting that as well um, and opening um, myself up to like the possibility of really finding love because as you for like insight insight was more based on self-love and self-awareness I'm balanced in that area because I put me first a lot you can see how I you know what I'm saying how I travel and treat myself and things like that so there's balance the wisdom area I'm balanced in it the um, insight area, I'm balanced in it. I'm not balanced when it comes to nourishment because I don't, I, I cannot say I know what love is. I, I just can't. I can't say I know what love is. And I can't even say I believe in love anymore. Love is just, love is so rare. But it's something that I knew, do need to work on as far as like desiring it. And it, I think if I manifest love, I think I'll get it because I get everything that I manifest. Sis, bro. So I ain't even tell y'all why I woke up so early this morning anyway, because you know it's like eight something right now. I need to go in there and make me some iced coffee and fruit. Drive down to the restaurant and have me some breakfast. But uh, that food was so good, by the way, last night. Um, it was actually because my ring had chimed, right? So I heard the chime in my sleep. And then the doorbell went off and I'm like, hold on. Cause it's still dark outside. So I'm like, no, I look at my phone. It's six something in the morning, like super early. So I'm like, wait, it's 825 here right now in the morning. So it's 625 AM in Dallas. So it's six something here. It was four something in the morning. I'm like, who the hell at my door at four something in the morning, right? Baby, why it was Sir Block a lot? Bringing me flowers and telling me he loved me on camera. I'm like, Lord. And we just got our chakra balanced. And it's clear what I need, where I'm malnourished in my life. Where I am imbalanced in my life. <laughs> Y'all, the universe is so funny. The universe is so funny. 
Universe. Not too much. Not too much, Universe. Golly. So it could either be that CeraVe face cleanser or it could be PMS related. I do notice that I do break out on my chin area um, after I go off my period. Like when I'm going off, I break out. I don't break out before so I don't get like period pimples. I get, I don't even know what it's called, ovulation pimples or whatever. But like I break out after my period. So this could be hormonal and period related. Oh, no, I don't know, I can't. I can't. So a video is uploading right now. So we are going to go ahead and head down to the beach. Watch the sunset. And today just be a nice relaxing beach day. So I got my sunscreen, which I don't really think that I'll need, honestly, because the sun's about to set. So I probably can save this and save this for tomorrow's excursions so i'm taking my atomic habits book two peak beach towels i love this airbnb because they provide you with beach towels and a beach bag i'm gonna take this clamp because i plan on getting in the water if it's warm hopefully it's warm it, it, it's, it's a possibility it could be a little cool this uh oh this comes to annoying me we're going going back back to the beach beach going back to the beach all right so um dog i should have brought that book that lady had left me a book of like all the things to do right here um in this cul-de-sac where i don't have to leave because this is like 25 minutes away from the airport and also 25 minutes away from like local stores local restaurants um grocery stores stuff like that so i really want to like indulge in everything i can right here before i do any excursions and uh like start trying to venture out off of the the cul-de-sac because it's really really nice and it ain't nothing but white people nothing but baby i feel i feel like i belong where the wealthy are the frugal and the frugal and wealthy yeah yeah i belong
I don't know if I've had a quesadilla this good in my life. That was a pretty good quesadilla. Oh, my phone about to die. Time to watch the sunset. Tonight, but right now I'm about to watch your place or mine. What time is it? Cause I guess I'm gonna have fruit for dinner. Cause uh, unfortunately, the stove does not work, so I can't cook my shrimp that I bought at the grocery store. Super, super unfortunate and discouraging, but whatever. Reese look good. Okay, sis. Jawline snatch, neck looking really very much 25. I hate you. You did call me, but you said that you couldn't date me or anybody else because you were an unknowable piece of shit. Uh, there's the right right there. He, he gotta be a Scorpio. He gotta be a Ashley Kutcher gotta be a Scorpio in this movie. Scorpios are Scorpio men. Let me say Scorpio men, cause the girls like to tussle in the comments. Anytime I say anything about a sign, the Scorpio men like to friend zone you in the literally with the most horrible way. Like they say shit like, "I can never date you because I don't like dating women with kids." Yeah, I'm sorry about that, sir. You were just inside of me literally 27 seconds ago. Can you hold off on hurting my feelings? I'm still in them. The fuck? Why didn't you say anything? Why did you let so much time go by? Because I was scared. Scared of what? I'm scared that I'm not good enough for you. Oh. Scared that you're going to reject me if I tell you how I feel. Well, just tell me how you feel. Damn it. Wait, what? I am madly, deeply, overwhelmingly in love with you. Ashton get on my nerve how he be like trying to be serious, like Ashton. Well, you could have said something. We talk every day. Well, now what are we gonna do? I thought we were gonna be friends forever. We're not. No. We're not gonna be friends anymore. Baby, I love me a good old chick flick, okay? See, Ashton already had my heart with no strings attached. Baby, this is my movie, okay? There's no strings attached on Netflix. That's literally my favorite movie. Why do you ask? Because Emma is me. Emma wanted love, but she was so damn scared of it from childhood trauma. <gasps> oh. I hate Tony B. <laughs> I 
how you saw the video, how you saw the TV. Good job, Hannah Lynn. Demarcus. Yeah. I'm in New York and you're on Long Island. I don't even treat you that good, girl. Why you smiling? It's three in the morning. Why you driving? Why you stopping for gas to get on the highway? Just to end up in my place. Okay, the distillery is like 38 minutes away, so we need to go ahead and start getting ready. I'm zinking this to the distillery with my um, green Dolce & Gabbana slides. So my hair is really oily and it's extremely windy, so I'm thinking of doing like a Audrey Hepburn type of look today a nice oh nasty how me me say oh nasty audrey Hepburn look today it's me putting the tripod right in right in the sink though so um yeah um i'm thinking of just doing like a minimal makeup look so some lashes eyeliner probably put just a little bit of foundation on Sunscreen, most definitely. Um, maybe some brows. Cause like, yeah, I'm gonna do like an Audrey Hepburn look today. I want to sit on it. So my combo today is Lime Crime Salem. Ooh, this so old, child, this old. And Natasha Denona, I need a nude. So we're gonna do a nude lippy. If you're new to my channel, I like lining my lips with liquid lipstick. Um, I do sometimes use lip liners, but I find that this is just like holy grail for me, just using a good old liquid lipstick. You see what I'm saying? It literally never fails. It never fails. Like it blends perfect. You ain't gotta worry about feathering. You just dot your lips and go. Do we want a mold? Put on nasty mold. Put old nasty Madonna mold right there. For the aesthetics. Okay, let's wash our hands because we have we definitely have makeup on our hands. But this the makeup look. Listen here now, y'all better behave. Double days. <laughs> girl, they be trying to peek at the booze, girl. Oh, do I want a boo? Oh, this is, oh, this is, y'all. I feel like I just stepped out of the 50s. Y'all know that's the era that I really wanted to be a part of, but you know what, not, 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 not the bad part, just the good part, the fashion. I love me a good old nasty 50s look, retro 50s look. <sighs> Shoes. Okay. So we got these. I feel like these are really retro too. These uh Fendi shades. And it's they they red, so it like hold on, let me let me try it on and see what it looks like. I really don't need to put no shades on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was gonna do the white Versace, but I think I'm gonna do the red Fendi instead. But the white, but the white massages are very retro. Very, 
They're very, very rich, y'all. The oval shape, too. We're gonna do the Versace's. They just go. Baby, I look like I need my top down in a Porsche, if you know what I'm saying. I look like that. All right, which swimsuit are we gonna take for this excursion? I think I want to take this one. I feel like falling in love. Falling in love. I'm gonna move to fuck something up. Tonight I'm fucking something. I need some drink in my cup. Hey. Something up. I wanna I need a prescription. I wanna go higher. Can I sit on top of you? Bracy, bracy, bracy. He wanna fuck us on icy. This is a redneck. Straight from the plane, I'm boarding. Alright, y'all, we are here. 12 minutes late, so we shall see what they say. I'm gonna put my pool stuff in the trunk because they said not to. They said not to. Uh, I'm gonna leave my pool stuff in the trunk because they said not to uh, leave anything in the car because they break in cars here. So. Bright colors like green, red, specifically green, leopard, stripes, and polka dot. Or you can always do like a paisley. Is that the word I want to say? Paisley? Paisley show. This is so good. Oh, just what I need. I look like a what? A celebrity. Oh. You must <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just an old regular diggler person. Hi there. In Orange, originally from Valencia, Spain. When the Spaniards came to Curacao, they brought the oranges with them on board and they planted here. Stacy, this is new. Okay, douche, give us a little bit of mango. Stacy, Nandi, but get a douche, give us a little bit of mango. Stacy, Nandi, but get a douche, give us a little bit of mango. So the orange one tastes like medicine, and the other two, the chocolate one, was real good. I could drink that one by itself, like no, no mixed with nothing. And then the uh, middle one, that one was really good too. I gotta sit with the people with the white wristbands on. Um, oh, baby, they is staring some serious here. Okay, so this is a tamarind sunset. This is delicious. 
I thought I was gonna get to make my own drink, but I was supposed to upgrade and I didn't upgrade. Oh well. This is really good. <laughs> Let this car cool off. All right, we are all done at the distillery. We're gonna head over to Surf and Turf. It's a restaurant, but it's also the meeting location for the um, water excursion that I'm about to do. And y'all, it was raining. It was raining earlier when I left the villa and I was like, oh Lord, they probably gonna cancel the excursion. Y'all, it's so hot outside and the sun is beaming. I'm happy about it because I feel like this water about to be cold and y'all know she real and nigga child. Let me turn this up. Whew. But we about to go over to Surf and Turf which is the meeting location. It's literally six minutes away. I did not even plan this but I am like I'm so feeling how close it is because this spot where we're meeting is also a really good restaurant to eat at and I'm hungry. They be killing all these hoes, they be mad. They just can't as. I was not gonna pee in the water. I was not. Okay, they waiting on me. Um, I think it's the that's the four o'clock. Um, wait a minute now. Oh, I was just about to say, not on my my swimsuit pieces. Okay. Y'all, it's hot outside, okay? It's hot. It's hot. Now, I hope that water won't because it is hot outside. It's hot. I'm going to put a helmet on our head so I ain't going to be able to keep this clamp on. I probably need to take my lashes out okay i'm gonna be the only one because i booked the last one of the day because i just i wanted to make sure that i was on time and i was actually early so i booked the last one of the day so i'm the only one that's going out but that's okay um but we getting ready to go out i'm nervous i feel like the water gonna be really cold but um they do videos and pictures so i'm not gonna have to worry about filming so i'm gonna leave my camera here my good friend Brian right here. Yes, of course. He's gonna uh, watch my things and he just briefed me. And um, yeah, let's get this excursion going. Nigga, horses don't stop, they keep going. You can lose your life, but it's gonna keep going. Why not risk life when it's gonna keep going? Yeah. When you got somebody else who's born, but at least we got to say we run up the bridge, we run up the money, we run up the bridge, we run Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stream it on my guy like cool. Wanna ignore it? I feel like I'm 